As you can see, I'm currently surrounded by a series of cones and markers. And it just so happens that the markers that I've laid out lay out the actual dimensions of the tennis courts, or more specifically, the space between the baseline and the service line. If you're like me and you don't have access to a tennis court at the moment, then you can quite simply mark the area out that we're going to use for these agility-based intervals. The grid itself is 8.2 meters by 5.5 meters. Now, if you don't have access to any form of, of tape measure or meter rule, then you can quite simply mark it out with steps. It's not as accurate, but it's gonna be close enough for what we're trying to do here. For me, taking relatively small to average steps, this width here is going to be around about seven steps, whereas the represented baseline behind me is currently 11 steps. So for the V-drill, I've placed two blue markers roughly in between the inner tram line of the singles court and the center of the service line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start behind the T or the center of the baseline, and I'm going to run as fast as I possibly can to the left blue cone. Now, because these change of direction movements are relatively sharp, they're relatively short, sharp changes of direction, we don't need any fancy crossover steps or shuffles. We're quite simply going to be running backwards and forwards. So to initiate this drill, I'm gonna stand behind the marker in front of me, and I'm gonna run as quick as I possibly can to this first marker on the left, to which I'm going to get nice and low, lunge and touch the cone. My change of direction is then going to be a back pedal until I get behind, very important, I get behind the marker I started on. To which point I'm instantly then gonna run over to the blue cone, touch and back pedal and get behind the yellow marker to start the next repetition. <laughs> 